Let's make a sound on the flute today. So what I'm gonna take is all I need is my head joint. That's all I'm gonna use right now to make my sounds. So first of all, I'm gonna make sure that I can set my flute up in the right way every time and get it on my lips exactly where it needs to be. So taking the head joint, again, the tone hole, we're putting it on our lip and kind of rolling it out. The, the flute's gonna go out to our right. So make sure, because we don't want to be playing like this, we want, to be, yeah, we want it this way, out to our right. So I'm gonna set it up, get it here, just roll it out. Remember, I use, I use poo. I'm not say, actually saying poo, I'm just gonna go I want that plosive of the P with, a, with my mouth like it's saying ooh. So, so again, if I, I wanna cover up the end of here so that I'm not playing some screeching high pitch, and I'm gonna take this, set it up, roll it out just a little bit here, and I just wanna go. And I wanna try and hold that out as long as I can. Sometimes it's not gonna work. And especially if I had to keep going. Now what I want, what I want is I want to not have to, every time I set this up, go, okay, here, roll out. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. Here, roll out. Very relaxed. I don't want tension in my face. I just want it to be nice and relaxed. So again, here, roll. And that's how we're gonna make our first sound. Now, to get away from that, I'm gonna practice setting it up and then I'm gonna start going to just where I'm gonna set, I'm just gonna go up. I'm trying to remember what it felt like to get this in that nice sweet spot so that every time I go up, it's right there. And I can find it every single time. It's gonna take some practice and it's gonna be really, really annoying because you're gonna get in there and you're gonna pull this up and you're gonna go and everybody's gonna say, why are you just doing that? Well, that's because I'm learning how to make my initial sound. It's so much easier to practice making that sound and finding where it's where it feels good on your on your lips versus trying to find that out using all of this. Because now I'm not just worrying about my lips, I'm worrying about, are my fingers in the right spot? I'm worrying about, how am I balancing this? There's so many more things, and we wanna be able to just have it focus on one thing. This is gonna be your most important thing right now. Making sure you can do this. And getting that sound. I can get, actually, several different sounds from this. From this. So these are gonna be, some of the, the higher sounds. So you're gonna, this might screech a little bit and we'll see if it makes my, my microphone all funky and everything. So we're gonna start off low, a medium sound, a higher sound, and then a really high sound. So here's low. Medium. Higher. And then really high. We don't like, I don't, I don't need those other sounds. That's why, hand on the end, because I'm gonna get. Okay, I'm gonna get some other sounds that are a little bit more tolerable. Um, other than that, once we've mastered making that sound, and we feel like we're pretty comfortable doing it, now we're gonna put all this together. So again, I'm lining up my tone hole right here with my keys so that it's in a more natural place. My foot, the little ball right here on the foot is gonna line up with the middle of the key right here. So I'm gonna take this. Now, this is where a lot of beginning flutes don't quite master this for a little bit. There are a lot of keys on here. So first of all, right here, this key, we don't put our finger actually on this key. It's moved by this key. So you know, you're not gonna be putting your finger here. So this is not how we do it. We are gonna start with this key right here. Then we're gonna skip a key. And the reason is because this finger runs this key. So finger here, finger here, finger here. So I have three keys and I've skipped two of them. 
So I've skipped this one and I've skipped this one. Then I'm gonna, and I'm, we're gonna stay with that one right now. I'm gonna take my thumb on the back here. There's a thumb key here. I'm gonna put my thumb on that one. So I've pushed three, four keys now. On the bottom of my flute, I'm gonna start close to the foot. I'm gonna go three, two, one. So you notice I'm skipping two more keys here so that I have lots of keys that I'm skipping on the flute. And then my pinky runs this one. For the note that we're gonna play, we're actually gonna lift up our first finger. So we're not gonna use this one right now. And we're not gonna use our pinky. So my left hand is, is running the, these keys right here. And my right hand is running these ones. So now with these, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna try and balance this. Uh, there are a couple balance points. Number one is this pointer finger. It's pushing right in here. It's not even that really pushing. It's just the flute is sitting on that. The other one is my thumb over here is holding this part up. Okay, so I'm making a C and I'm holding it up here. The third part is I'm it's on my lip and I'm kind of using my, my lip to balance this. So if I was to play this, it would be And that's gonna be our first note that we're working on. This is a D. <clears throat> Once we kind of start mastering that, holding our instrument up and going That's gonna give us a lot more and we won't have to be like, oh, how do I set up and play a B flat? Well, we're, we don't have to think about that as much. And so I want us to kind of get away from focusing on too many things at a time. So that's why start on just your head joint. When you can consistently make good quality sounds on your head joint, then you can add this and the note I want us to play is D. So again, D is made by pushing your thumb, then, a, then fingers two and three on your left hand. So remember, we're gonna skip this key, Put this is for our first finger, skip a key, then we have two and three. And then we skip two more keys right here, and we go one, two, three, and that's our D. And I can go. Okay, so that's, that initial sound and just trying to practice balancing the flute as well as playing the flute. Notice where my arms are. My arms are not here. I'm not trying to play this like this. I'm not trying to play like this and move my head to where I want it to be. The flute comes to my head. My head's not, I shouldn't be moving my head. I shouldn't be going out here and then going, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get it over here. Nope, I want to sit, my, sit where I'm supposed to be and bring the flute straight to my to my face. I don't want to move my face. The other thing I want you to remember is that when you're playing this, we don't just actually start the whole time go, we actually use our tongue. And we start our note by saying, and so the tongue is actually hitting the back of the, like on my top teeth, just behind my top teeth and I'm going okay so when I play I should hear oh sorry I'll play the right note okay if I don't use my tongue it sounds like this versus Okay, no who's, we're not owls. For right now, that's plenty of stuff to work on. We're starting on just our head joint, making good sounds, cover the end to keep the pitch so it's not making our ears bleed. And then we can, when we make good sounds with that, we can put the rest of the instrument together. And I want you to make a D. And I want you to just, and remember, start your pitch with a T sound now, instead of a P. I want T so that we get a nice clear start of the sound. Well, have fun playing your flute today. Bye.